they, 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 it, it's, it's, it's something wrong with their Islamic beliefs. Yes, yes, I agree. Definitely. 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 Thank you. Definitely. That, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Oh, Sajid. Sajid, I think Sajid wants to sit down for that one. Are you sitting down? Is Sajid sitting down? If he's sitting down, he needs to lay down. I need to get going. I need to get going, but I'm having haven't finished yet so okay. anyhow in, whenever there is an argument between two people two countries or whatever there need to be always someone who have the authority and capable of making the peace mm -hmm. and A we do have them but mm. they just don't want to do that mm -hmm. because they don't want to lose their so. whatever their <laughs> po position in mm -hmm. Oh, I see the point you're making. I'm and, and it's oh, important. It's important, even true. in small scale, mm -hmm. even between two people. To have a peace it's sometimes it's impossible to peace without an intermediate. Why do you keep tuning in your father? Why, do you, why, why, why don't you stop that? So, so yes. There need to be someone who's capable of making peace. Otherwise yeah, I mean, they definitely need to have... Yeah. Sometimes sometimes just a small argument and it will get escalated and, you know, and, and the problem is... Brother, if Jibir Ali Salaam, the angel, who came down from the heavens and told these people to stop, they wouldn't stop. Well, oh, I, I, I bet they Am would. I I bid the word, or maybe I send them an angel from my side. Thank you, Abdul. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad you're finally bringing that up. Yes, yes. I've, I've, I'll give you, like, I, I, I wanna, I wanna go, but I'll give you a brief experience. You know, small experience I went through when I went to Morocco in December. Brother, so, so, brother, so, brother, so, so it's a personal. You, said you had to go. It's been 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. So, so my sister, <laughs> my my sister and her husband, you know. My sister and her yeah. husband got an argument, and families get involved. Hey, and hey, 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 do not leak the information that is personal. No, no, it's. I'll, I'll tell you, tell you how things Your work. Your sister gonna cut you off, and I don't want to. No, hear. no, things are okay. No, but without, without the right person who have the authority to intervene and mm -hmm. and, and, and and work on mm -hmm. peace, nothing's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. and luckily, I was that person. Luckily, I was that person came all you the way from America to go there to solve wow, that problem. Wow, Lord, Lord. Or I will nuke your house. Good all right, buddy. You know, Sajid, you, you are on, on recording with this, right? Go ahead, brother. Salam alaikum. Salam, thank you, brother. Sajid. Thank you. Sajid. You feel all right, Sajid? Alhamdulillah. What's going on, Sajid? All right, let me let me ask. I, what, what, what to my tears, but, um, yeah, I know. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, that's that's Latifi oh, for you. I mean, he's got the Khalilu Brigade, and uh, you know they're very quick with with sending angels, and you know this whole angel thing. And yeah, I'm telling you, he started the whole angel brigade, man. Listen, li 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 listen. All right, let, let me ask you all something, okay? You all are youngsters and you're Muslim. Let me ask you something, okay? Um, do you see yourselves researching what the Quran said for us to do in cases like this? Have you all like bothered to ask yourselves that question? What did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say in the Quran for us to do when it, when it comes to matters like this? I feel like it's in there. It's in there. I, I know that it's in there. Okay. In all honesty, I have researched myself because okay. I've been busy. I've I, I yeah, you've been busy. Myself, I, I'm not researching myself. Okay. So, so practically, yes, it is in there, right? And think yeah, about... Everything's in the Quran. Exactly. And yes. think of this. Think of this. You know, 99% of Muslims are not practicing 99% of the Quran. Do you understand that? 99% of Muslims do not know 99% of the Quran. Brother, I understand exactly what you're saying. The answer is in the Quran. The answer is everywhere. Right. Let me give you an example. So why is it? Does it make any sense to you? Hold on, hold on a second. Does it does it make any sense to you with all of those who actually know the Quran in all of our Muslim worlds? 
you don't realize how many like knowledgeable people we have, not just in Saudi, you know, not just in the Ijaz area, but just all over the world. We have a lot of people who are knowledgeable about the Quran. Isn't it strange to you that there has been absolutely the same effort that you have taken when it comes to the Quran for all of the masses of Muslims who are even in contact with the local government, with their respective governments. They have not moved a finger into bringing out what the Quran says about these type of situations, which we've only witnessed for, for two generations. I, I, I remember the first Gulf War and how that started. The very first Gulf War is so ridiculous. Back in 1989, 1990, you know, I mean, you were like, I was like, how could war be starting, you know, on a soil like that, and you have a bunch of Muslim nations going at each other? Egypt was there. Brother, brother, Palestine has been taken, and there's, that, there's the, the, it's in the Muslim peninsula, there's Muslims everywhere. All the Muslim countries are next to it. Has anyone taken action? Okay. No. Hold on a second. That, true. What, what I'm saying, see, when it comes to the Palestine thing, here's the thing about the Palestine thing. Honestly, Palestine at this time is really, before I, I get to talking about Muslims versus non-Muslims, I want to talk about Muslims versus Muslims first. That's the first thing. So that's why I go back to that go for Let me give you my example from earlier. Listen, you said that, what was my example? I know it, but I forgot what we were speaking of. You were speaking of what? What's that called? These people, they know about the Quran and all this stuff, and they don't want to do about it. Even this, even these Amirs and stuff, they have Sheikh uh, with them and try to convince them and these things. But watch, I had a friend of mine tell me, this is this is a very off-topic thing, but think about this this, this reference. You know how there's the, you know that the big split between the sects, there's this, the Shia sect and the Sunni sect, right? Right. Correct. Yeah. If the prophet came back and showed us which one was right and wrong, someone would still say this is incorrect. Correct. Because there's always going to be somebody who doesn't, who, want, who to doesn't do want to do it. Yes, correct. That's true. There's always going to be somebody who's going to be fooled by the shaitan, and it's, it's not going to change. It's not really weak control, brother. Yeah, but do you know something else, though? There's something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, though. Do you know what it is? Would you like to know what it is? Sure. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, wa makaru wa makar Allah, wallahu khayrul makirin. You understand that, don't you? Most of it, yes. Okay. They plotted and planned, and Allah planned, and he was the better planner. Best of okay. Obviously. There's another one. Do you want to hear about another one? There's another one. I got one more for you. Would you like to hear that? Brother, what you're saying is yes. true. No, hold on a minute. Would you like to hear it? Would you like to hear the second part? And what is this brother thing? Why, well, why are you calling me brother? I don't know. <laughs> All of a sudden, he goes to college and he's calling me brother. Man, I don't know if I like that. It's about to be Muhammad Ali in a second. <laughs> you call me Muhammad Ali. You call me Muhammad Ali. Yeah, I, that reminds me. There's a very important documentary on him when he went broke. I want to get back to it. It's really important. His, you know, his fighting style. The story of uh, Muhammad Ali is it's, it's a very nice story. It is a very. I mean, he actually. There's this one where he actually went broke. Like Rocky really did learn from him. Anyway, um, the thing is, when it comes to what Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala said, we are like the first to like say, yeah, but. You know, and then go to something else that is that is completely against what Allah said. We're the first to do that. And that's the same problem. Now hold on, hold on, hold on, hang on, hang on a minute, man. Watch the abstracts, man. I'm telling you, those abstracts are deep. But the abstracts. But wait a minute, wait, 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 wait a second, okay? What I want to tell you is that although yes, shaitan is there, Allah Taala tells us not only not to be afraid of the shaitan. But not to be afraid of the awliya as shaitan either. فَلَا تَخَافُوهُمْ وَخَافُونِ إِن كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ Okay? Now, we're supposed to be believers. We're not just saying, yeah, we know the Qur'an, but, you know, we got other things to do. We're so busy with the dunya. We're supposed to be the ones who say, سَمِعْنَا وَأَطَعْنَا وَأُولَيْكَ هُمُ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ If you don't do things like that, then, yeah, you know, Allah Ta'ala will misguide you. And He says that, I will make 
non-believers out of believers, and I will make non-believers believers. So you have to be careful. And the problem really is that when Allah decides, nobody's going to be able to stop him. When Allah decides, kun fayakun, innama amruhu, you know, ida, when he wants for something to be, he says, be and it is. Ida arada shay'an an yaqula lahu kun fayakun. Nobody's going to be able to stop it. When I look into, you know, what Allah Ta'ala says in this Quran, I assure you, brother, he is not fooling around with anybody. People are just silly. He has an appointed time. He has an appointed time, and his time is going to be the best time, and nobody's going to be able to do anything about it, but he promised, وَعَدَ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنْكُمْ وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ لَيَسْتَخْلِفَنَّهُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ كَمَا اسْتَخْلَفَ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ وَلَيُمَكِّنَنَّ لَهُمْ دِينَهُمْ الَّذِي اِرْتَضَى لَهُمْ وَلَيُبَدِّلَنَّهُمْ مِنْ بَعْدِ خَوْفٍ أَمْنًا يَعْبُدُونَنِي لَا يُشْرِكُونَ بِي شَيْئًا وَمَنْ كَفْرَ بَعْدَ ذَلِكَ فَأُولَئِكُمُ الْفَاسِقُونَ It's a promise from Allah, brother. Anybody who thinks that, you know, they know better than Allah, I have nothing to do with you, bro. You know, I, you know, I would... What's that? To think you are better than God, that's him. Well, that's what people have, have, have gone to because they're so misguided. You know, again, if you just look at the Surah Fatiha, you know, our first, our first dua is, Ihdina Siratul Mustaqeen. You know, Iyaka Na'budu wa Iyaka Nasta'in, Ihdina Siratul Mustaqeen, to guide us. But those who are, you know, misguided already, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says they are, they are misguided, man. You know, and we're, we're supposed to make sure that we protect ourselves from the shaitan. We're not supposed to be like, yeah, shaitan is there. Say that again. Brother. Say that again. May God bring us al hadun, make them hadin. May God make them better and make us better. I ain't gonna lie to you. I just want to stop it, and I'm sorry. I'm about to go. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, you, you'll probably be at way past your bedtime. <laughs> How are your classes? Did you start your classes? Did you start your classes? Inshallah. Inshallah, you're going to start your class? <laughs> when are you starting? Tomorrow or? No, tomorrow, Saturday. I forgot. I'm, I, I'm not the same age as Sajid in this man. I'm a little younger than both of them. You're younger than Sajid? By like a year. Okay, okay. So you're still in high school. I graduate this year, inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah. Inshallah. He wants to be a doctor, inshallah. You want to be a doctor? Whatever guy guide me to, inshallah. Oh, Allah, we have, you know, we have so, so much work to do in the Dawa area. And, um, you know, at this time, I'm, I'm looking for, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's way to just make us, turn us all into... You know, uh, positive da'is, you know. وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا مِمَّنْ دَعَى إِلَى اللَّهِ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا وَقَالَ إِنَّنِي مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ وَلَا تَسْتَوِي الْحَسَنَةُ وَلَا السَّيِّئَةُ دُفَعْ بِالَّتِي هِيَ أَحْسَنُ You know, and it's... I end up giving up and let Yusuf make me join this thing, and it's okay. It, it, it's not bad. I like it. It's not bad. You like the book club, brother? I mean, I'm not that active in it. I just like these, these, these random calls the middle of the night. That's <laughs> part of it. That's 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 you know, that's really a fabrication I, of Mr. Yusuf Kareem. Yep, you know, I I'm just I, I work on myself throughout the year. I've been working on myself, making myself a better Muslim. You know, so more or less, I try my best. And make and may Allah make us all better Muslims before we can all grow and all become better. You know, there's one more I I'd like to share with everybody, inshallah, and then I gotta get going. And um, <clears throat> after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّمَا يَحْشَ اللَّهَ مِنْ عِبَادِهِ الْعُلَمَاءِ You know, he goes on to say, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَتْلُونَ كِتَابَ اللَّهِ This is in Surah Fatir. I love the part where he says, فَمِنْهُمْ ظَالِمٌ لِنَفْسِهِ وَمِنْهُمْ مُقَتَصِدٌ وَمِنْهُمْ سَابِقٌ بِالْخَيْرَاتِ بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ So, there are some of our ummah today who wrongdo themselves. And then there are some who are lackadaisy. Then there are some who try to outdo with 
the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they try to do their predecessors. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that these three categories, the first one, um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive them. And we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives them for their shortcoming. The second, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says he will judge with his mercy. And then the third, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he will put them in the Jannah bi ghayri hisab. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us that as well. So, you know, it's important, you know, yeah, we have to work on ourselves. First and foremost, ibda bi nafsik, start with yourself. And, you know, as we do that, you know, we have to do so in every area of ourselves. Not just the fact that we, you know, worship, 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 but we also have to, you know, be, 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 be intuitive about our deen, about what Allah said to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How many ayahs was Allah talking directly and specifically for Prophet? And what was he telling him? You know, these things we need to research. What it is that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said to, you know, the believers in terms of their, you know, their development. We need to look into finances, economics, look into, you know, the political status of Medina and how it developed the real community. Things that we don't even have. We don't really have a Muslim community today. Because if we did, it would be, you know, it's very sad. You know, وَمَا اخْتَلَفْتُمْ فِيهِ مِنْ شَيْنْ فَحُكْمُ إِلَى اللَّهِ It's very sad. You know, so, you know, we just hope and pray. He accepts, you know, the, the, the effort that we put in. And, you know, that's practically it. You know, I'm glad to be, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, involved. That's all I can say. Uh, yeah, thank you. Shukran. And I just want to say, we need to have, OG Ahmed and Kai's top weekly debates. They're too good, man. They're too good. OG so Ahmed. You two, just, you two are great debaters, mashallah. So we just gotta. Well, gotta, you know, you know, Yusuf. I'm every, not a good debater. I just know how to argue. Right, right. I understand <laughs> no, that. You know, I, I understand that. But careful with that. The Quran talks about that too. True. People who just no, like to argue, argue without no, any I basis. Don't argue if I, if I don't know something about if I don't know anything about a subject, I will clearly say I don't know anything. Oh about yeah, that's you good. That's good. good. If you you know you get I used to that. No shame. Okay. Yeah, you get you get used to that. The Quran, Subhanallah. There's only shame in, in, in acting like you know something. Right? Yeah. Well, if you get busted, right? Some people don't get exactly. busted on right? busted, but... <laughs> Some people don't get busted on that. But um. Well, well, thank you all. I want to thank every last one of you for being on the uh, on the channel, man. This is really wonderful, Yusuf. You keep this up, man. And you know, now we broke in a very, very big record today. I mean, we got uh, a lot of yeah. The channel really, really flourished today. Alhamdulillah. Interesting. I mean, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Yeah, I mean, you know, we this earth is only is only temporary, but the aftermath is forever. There's no turning back from that. And when I look at what Allah Ta'ala promises that He will do on that day, I'm like this, how can anybody sleep knowing this? It's so strange. <laughs> Allahu Akbar, it's so strange. When I debate on, I debate on, the, on the CNN uh, YouTube platform, I was, it, it was just, it was one, two, and out. You know, one, two, out, you're out. One, two, and you're out. That's what it was like. It was, what people are talking who are truly ignorant, People who are ignorant of Allah, when they make statements, these statements... Uh, my, se- my friend says, I forgot who, who, who was the person who quote, you have or- if you, if you uh, argue with an ignorant person, you have already lost. <laughs> true, true. If you argue with them, right? Yes, because what are you going to do? They're, they're, they're going to continuously deny the truth. Even if they know it's the truth, they are ignorant. Yes. They ignore it. It's in, it's, it's, it's in their nature. Yes. So you have, so you, and that's, 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 and what he's saying is true because what the Quran says, وَإِذَا خَاطَبَهُمُ الْجَاهِلُونَ قَالُوا سَلَامًا سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ لَا نَبْتَغِ الْجَاهِلِينَ This is what the Quran says to do. What he's saying is correct. But what I like about the CNN platform is that it's, you know, it's, it's, it's blogging. So when they blog, you know, I can, practically pick out what it is and try, how they're trying to trick around with words and all these things and be like, you didn't even answer the question, buddy, so... Guys, if you, guys, if you would annihilate CNN. Well, you know, I don't know about any of that. Allah Ta'ala is the one who gives and he's the one who keeps and when he keeps, none can give and when he gives, none can keep. I gotta get going, man. I told you. <laughs> Salam, man. It was good talking to you all. Salam, be safe. Thank you.